So you've built a wonderful app. Its functionality and performance is great and its price is competitive. But what can make your app even more attractive to an enterprise? How well do you actually know your enterprise customers? Hi, I'm Aaron Parecki, Director of Identity Standards at Okta. Enterprises care about more than your app's unique functionality. They care how it fits into their infrastructure and their software catalog. They care about how your app deals with issues of user identity and security. So how do your apps deal with users? How do your apps import onboard and offboard users? Are your customers' users stored locally, centrally in your own database, or siloed somewhere somehow? And why is identity such an important piece of the puzzle for you to solve? Turns out that identity is a puzzle that refuses to be solved. The number of identity data breaches continues to rise. And as we strive to secure our systems, bad actors continue to find ways around our new measures through AI, social engineering, code and configuration auditing, and more. Enterprises spend a lot on security, so consider their enterprise identity strategy and how your apps will fit into it. As enterprises grow, their identity strategy usually tends to be somewhat organic. They use the applications they need. If they buy another company, they continue to use the apps that that company uses too, even if those apps don't really work together or talk to each other. Some use defined standards to govern identity, and others use their own proprietary methods. Some apps silo their identity, some will talk to centralized user databases, and the list of admin nightmares and user frustration nightmares grows ever longer until finally some tipping point is hit. Enterprises may have hundreds of apps. Enterprises know that an effective identity strategy means improving their employees' user experience while keeping the admin side of things flexible, simple, and above all, secure. Having hundreds of apps that all do their own thing from an identity perspective is not an effective identity strategy. Having a set of applications that share user stores, simplify the sign-in process, and centralize and ease the burden of user administration is. These things make an enterprise's systems more secure, more cost-effective, and easier to administer. So at which point in their identity journey are your customers? Are they still growing organically with no cohesive or at least no overt strategy? Are they in a transition to a cleaner identity surface? Have they defined an identity policy for their software? Are they maybe in a stable place but looking to improve iteratively? How can we improve the rough edges? How can we make things more cost-effective? Can we consolidate more functionality and fewer apps? Tell me in the comments below what kind of identity strategy your customers have. No matter what stage an enterprise is in adopting an identity strategy, presenting them with applications running bespoke siloed identity solutions compatible only with your other apps is not an attractive option. They will want to rationalize their identity roadmap if they aren't already and not add another outlier. Their best way forward is to subscribe to open identity standards and a central identity service. So what makes your app a good fit in their identity solution? A big check mark is to have your app's identity solution also built on these standards and to work with various identity platforms such as Okta, Microsoft, or AWS. But single sign-on is just the beginning. We recommend OpenID Connect for single sign-on as it's the most secure and future-proof standard. Single sign-on gets you into the app, but that's not the end of the story. Lifecycle management is the next piece of the puzzle. We want to make sure that we don't leave orphaned accounts in an app after a user leaves the company. Skim is a standard that can be used to provision and deprovision users as they join and leave a company. It can also be used to assign applications so that your apps can know about all the users assigned even before they log in. But just whether a user can log into your app isn't enough. Enterprise admins sometimes also need to be able to control what a user can do within your app. You wouldn't want every employee to have admin rights within your SaaS app just because they logged in from their enterprise SSO. So we also need to support entitlements management, enabling the enterprise IDP to push entitlements into your app. This is also accomplished with Skim, with a few extra attributes on users. So now we've got users signing into apps, we have a way to control what they have access to, and we can even deprovision them when they leave. But what about all the stuff in the middle? What happens when the employee is already logged into your app, but then some malware on their laptop steals a session cookie and then uses it to access your app from a country halfway around the world? If an enterprise IDP detects that a user account has been compromised, they can stop that user from logging into apps in the future. But ideally, they'll have a way to also shut down any access to apps immediately as well. So that takes us to Shared Signals and Universal Log App. Shared Signals lets the IDP collect information from all of the apps used within the organization, and it can use those signals to make a determination that a user has become high risk or compromised. It can then use Universal Log App to tell all of the apps in the enterprise to terminate that user's session immediately. With all of these in place, we finally have an end-to-end -end story for secure identity in the enterprise. So why publish your app on the Okta integration network? Well, many enterprises and top companies and government departments use Okta and the OIN as a foundation of their identity strategy. The OIN lists 7,000 applications and workflows. So why isn't yours listed there too? Publishing your app in the OIN and getting it verified is a sign to your potential customers that your app is enterprise ready and will fit cohesively within their ecosystem. If you'd like to learn more, sign up for office hours at the link below and you'll be able to chat with us live. 
I'll also leave a link below to where you can learn more about this new unified identity security standard. Thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see what you've built.